this uh, cool new app that's been out. It's not exactly new. It's been out for a while. Uh, called Google Listen, and I don't know. They've they've really they've made some updates to it since it first started, and really brought it to the next level. Um, I guess if I can uh, go ahead and bring us up on the handy camera. Oh, it's trying Let me to... uh, get my phone on the handy camera and I'll box me in or something. Yeah. Why, when I typed in the Android App Show dot com, did the Daily App Show dot com come up? Mm, maybe was, yeah, yeah, slightly know. wrong or something. Yeah. Okay, let me try this again. But okay, on here on the video, I I've got the screen up here, and it's a pretty straightforward app. Once you install it, it'll walk you through uh, everything that Google Listens all about. So. Uh, Plenty of stuff to read uh, in the great Google tradition of reading, uh, you know, little snarky, uh, instructive bits of information. Uh, but it has three basic options on here. Uh, my listen items, my subscriptions, popular searches, and then it has an extra thing down there, uh, recently played, where you can go back over stuff that uh, you've already listened to before. So this does only manage your audio podcasts. So uh, there's nothing for video yet, though they talked about it at the last Google I.O. Yeah. Um, it hasn't been implemented. Nobody's seen it in the wild. So, um, But some pretty uh, straightforward things. You hit menu. You can search for podcasts. You can bring back up that uh, instructive help thing that you had and uh, th that you first saw. You can manage your accounts. Uh, but you go into settings, and this is one of the things that I kind of uh, wanted to uh, make sure that I on the podcast if I can figure out the uh, backwards way that I'm supposed to be moving my hands you, you, to make it work. It. You hold it and I move it. So uh, we have, uh, re you can set up your uh, refresh subscriptions manually or uh, have them set up to refresh every so often. I like to choose every eight hours. Um, but I listen to some podcasts that are published at different times during the day in their daily podcasts. So I want to make sure to get them. Uh, download new audio automatically, um, but you can select to do it only while charging or only on Wi-Fi. So, and those are two separate options. Right now I have it, you know, so you're anywhere and there's new audio, it'll download it for you. Um, but you can limit that so that, say you're at home and uh, only when you plug in your phone at night do you want it to pull new audio. So you can check both those boxes and you'll be good to go. Uh, you That's can set cool. how many episodes it'll keep on your phone. It keeps a cache of all that stuff on there. Um, one of the cool things about Google Listen, when it first came out, it was only streaming uh, audio and stuff like that. Uh, but now there's like a, a much more much more emphasis placed on uh, downloading podcasts. Mm, yeah. So it makes it much more portable. Um, but one of the things I kind of wanted to do here, I'm uh, going to grab Brad's phone because he's already oh, set it up like a... Brad like a cooking show we have a, a phone already prepared um but if and we can it's as hot the, as an uh, oven in here <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> to the handy cam a little bit here handy so, cam. you might recognize this this is the uh android oh that show is sweet website yeah so uh no flash here on this phone but uh it's our great player at the top with the mini sodes right below it if you go over here below the icon you'll see a nice little list of uh things to subscribe to so if you're on your computer and you have iTunes, it's got all this great stuff. Uh, links for all of our different iTunes things. Google Listen and, and all others. So if you're on your phone and you visited the website, you just go down here. Um, pick one of the Google Listen feeds. So we'll go uh, for the full show. Click that and it'll come up and say, how do you want to open this? Google Listen is one of the options. You hit that and it should automatically... Uh, jump right over to Google Listen. It fills in the uh, URL right here. You hit Add, and it does add a subscription. Very nice. And it's in your in your system. So whenever we get new episodes or whatever, it lists them right out here, and it shows our history. And uh, you can pull up one. One of the great things about Google Listen is as you're listening to the as uh, you're listening to the podcast. You can actually read through the show notes that we publish. Oh, really? Yeah. So just oh, like you're on the website. The yeah. So oh, that's that's, cool. that's kind of cool to see. You get to see the the magic behind everything. Um, we're working right now to try and get listed in the Google Listen index. I don't know mm -hmm. what's going on. I don't know if we have to have so many people just uh, 
subscribe to us through Google Listen before we get listed. Um, but for right now, that's you can go right on to our website, click right on there. If you have Google Listen installed and uh, subscribe, and you can get any of our podcasts really. I like it. Very nice. So, yeah, it's a it's a pretty cool thing. I I I rely on that now instead of Stitcher for my um, podcast because it does the mm-hmm. the downloading. So ah, uh, so you don't even have to be you you don't even have to be on a network connection to to get the podcast. It just downloads it right to your phone. Yeah, and it's kind of a big deal for me because I'm on uh, the first generation on G yeah. all day. That's pretty cool. 